Hey everyone, Misco Electric here, and I'm in the Detroit Smart Parking Lab. And you might be thinking, well, what is this place? There's a lot going on here, including a ton of innovation. And today I have the CEO of Hevo Power, Jeremy McCool. He's gonna give us a little bit more insight about the company and what's going on here. Jeremy, when yeah. did you start Hevo? And give us a little bit of background information. Started in 2011. We're headquartered uh, out of Brooklyn, New York. Oh. And we've been here since around November of last year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so give us some background on Hevo. So we have done commercial projects on four continents around the globe. Currently, those are small projects, but we have just been given the largest public wireless charging order of all time. And that's going to be coming wow. out very soon with where it's going to be and who it's going to be with. But also, we are in a production state, low volume production. And that's happening in Brooklyn, New York today. But we do see expansion happening elsewhere for production as well. Well, this sounds really neat. I want to see a demo of this. Let's go. All right. So welcome to the Resonant E8 by Hevo. Here we've got a power station mounted to the wall. This could be also pedestal mounted. It's a level two system, so we can charge up to eight kilowatts, which also means that in this case, we're going to charge around 20 miles per hour while we're charging this vehicle maximum. We can go up to 100, 300 kilowatts. Uh, we already had those developments underway. But this is our first commercial product. It's both UL and SAE qualified. We're the only company in the world that's achieved both of those. And it's fully built in, as you can see, as an LED display. It's a gateway device, so it is smart. It has ethernet, Wi-Fi, cellular connectivity. And finally, there is a certified revenue, uh, energy grade revenue meter inside there. So you can sell power directly from the system. Something about this system that's unique, not only do we have a wireless charging pad, but we have plug-in charging. And because of that, we are the only company in the world that has both. This is the only hybrid solution in the world, and that's why we are already doing commercial projects uh, publicly, because we can offer both plug-in immediately to customers that already have that, and then here's wireless for people that will have it on their vehicles. This box here is connected both to this pad on the ground, which can be either surface mounted as you see it, or flush mounted like a manhole cover, but we do have options that can go underneath the concrete. We have charged through four inches of concrete. Oh wow. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, we could do a lot with this. So we're gonna give you a demonstration to show you everything that this can do, including our software and the entire ecosystem that we've created. So underneath the car, you have installed a receiver. This comes as a bundle, including the receiver mount underneath it. So we can do an aftermarket retrofit package, which we do offer already today. It's very small and lightweight, it's under 30 pounds. You can put it onto a vehicle in less than an hour with a certified mechanic. It's been built to be that way, but we do have quite a few different automakers that we're involved with right now in their different procurement cycles to make uh, wireless charging part of their factory built-in solution. Oh, so cool. by 2025, you should just be able to get a car just like you do a mobile phone with wireless charging built inside and be able to go through that process of charging without having to do the aftermarket feature. But we're gonna start today with what is aftermarket as a matter of fact. This is a very old car. It's a 2012 Nissan Leaf that's been converted into a wireless charge no ready. Seat. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 10 years uh, ago, this car was manufactured, but it still does a job. So there's an LED display on the front of this, uh, this power station here, and that's gonna provide you with parking alignment at real time speed. We also have a mobile app that can be streamed into your in-dash display with CarPlay and Android Auto. So that also provides you with that same level of parking assistance while you're pulling forward. So one of the key things that we've done beyond just hardware development. We've developed this wonderful user experience with the software. And so we're gonna go through one part of that user experience right now and then I'll show you the rest of it. We reserve chargers for you ahead of your arrival so you don't have to fight somebody for a charger like it does happen today. Awesome, so that's all through the app? That's all through the app. So let me go ahead and make a reservation here for you. As you can see here when I open this app, I've got a couple of chargers available from Hevo. We're going to go ahead and select the one at the top, the Hevo 1. And then there, it's going to give us a reservation number. And that same reservation number is over here on the power station. That is the lock. Your vehicle is the key. Once you're within an area of about 100 meters or less, you automatically see parking alignment come up on the LED display. And you're going to use the LED display to help align the vehicle. 
So there you're right about, you're coming in close, you're gonna see that the vehicle's gonna pop up, perfect. And you're there. So let's put it in park. It'll give you an indication to turn off the vehicle when you do. A countdown comes up, five, four, three, two, one. And you're gonna get this visual of a lightning bolt on the front showing that you are in charge mode. Not only that, but you're gonna get some charging statistics and data on the front of the LED display, but here also on the mobile app. I'm gonna walk you through what we're actually showing here on this LED display. So you've got the battery of what you're adding, but also the mileage added, how much extra cost it is, and how much battery kilowatt hours is being added as you're charging. This is the duration of time lapsed, but here is your time remaining for a full charge. If this was just a single reservation for you, it would just tell you, you know, 30 minutes until you continue your next journey. And you can see that same information over here. The Journey app by Hevo is showing you from the start state of charge, but you can also see time elapsed, power in, the running total, and your percentage of battery gain. We're collecting 85 data points at a rate of five points per second. So we know that this system is very well in a stable mode and that if anything is gonna happen, we can predict that ahead of time. Not only are we gonna give you what your state of charge has been over different charging sessions over the last day, last week, month, last year, and even all time, but we can give you the state of health of the battery. So this is an older car, it's 10 years old. It has 61% health on it. That's not good, but because we have this knowledge, we understand now what is the real true range you can get with this car. And the final part of that is, what do you do with your batteries when they're expended for the use of your car? You really shouldn't drive a car under 80% battery health. So for us, we see that as an opportunity to provide uh, people that want to buy those batteries, probably for grid storage and other uses, and then to give that driver money to go buy a new battery from a dealership so they can swap it out. So you guys can take those batteries in and then work with your partners, whether that be a company like Redwood Materials or... Exactly. Yeah, to be able to recycle them. That's very interesting. And really, it's the couple of things that people have the most anxiety about with electric cars. How long will the battery last? Well, we're giving them clearly that information here, but also, where are the charging stations at? I'm gonna show you how we overcome that problem in just a moment. So I'm gonna stop charging. I'm gonna come up to the top in our charging session. And then you're gonna see we're gonna get this receipt. And when we get this receipt, it's everything that you'd imagine. We've got cost, state of charge, duration, and stop reason, but also how many miles and percentage and gain were added. But we also take into account things like CO2. And we want people to understand their, their impact and be able to measure it. And by the way, that's potentially monetizable for the driver because this is an opportunity to sell those carbon swaps for big companies that need to have those offsets. So this actually is interesting because a lot of times companies will take in those carbon offset credits and the customers don't even see it. So is there some kind of monthly fee going on or? No, we give that opportunity to the customer. Of course, there's opportunities for us to help them sell those carbon offsets. And if we do that, then we create a marketplace environment where we'll take a small fee for all the ones that they are selling. But there's no subscription fee or anything required to it. And as a matter of fact, this journey at Byhevo will be released at no cost to customers later on this year. Interesting, yeah. very cool. As you can see, we got the Nissan Leaf at the top, but let's go ahead and swap that out and let's choose for something with a little bit more long range like the Ford Mu Mustang Mach-E. So with the Mach-E, we've now got that at the top. Let's plan a journey to Brooklyn as an example. So if we go to Brooklyn, we'll see these waypoints and point of interest that are there just like a normal map app. Okay, so let's select to go to the Brooklyn Zoo or the Prospect Zoo. So when I hit go now at the very top, it pops up this state of charge sheet here and it says your current state of charge is 57. If, if that's not true, you can set it by either sliding or tapping. So we'll just put it up here around 70%. I don't wanna drive with less than 20%. I don't wanna arrive with less than 20%. We're gonna take a couple people with us. So all these things are gonna matter to your journey, why? Because we're also taking into account terrain, traffic, weather, aggressiveness of driving, the, ba the battery performance of your uh, vehicle, also the type of chargers that you can use, and we're optimizing for the best and fastest route for you to take. 
And when that pops up, you can see now we have this route that we're gonna take, and it's gonna take us 14 hours and 22 minutes to get there, of which two hours and 14 minutes will be charging, 670 miles on that journey, and it's gonna be eight charging stops. And by the way, we spot priced the total amount of cost for the power right now too. So that's $11.90 of total cost for power. And if I open this up, we can see the independent locations, the name of the location, the address, the type of charger, your arrival uh, percentage, departure percentage, charge and duration, arrival time, departure time, and the total cost at it's each location. Data. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Well, also, you might need to bring an umbrella. It's really nice right <laughs> now, but I've traveled in, started on a sunny location and ended up in, where I needed an umbrella and I forgot to bring it. And as we had talked about earlier, we want you to arrive with less than 40 or 20%. So in this case, you're arriving with 41%. So when I hit start, now we've got turn by turn navigation. And the reason why we've done this is really important. While you're driving, something might happen. Maybe there's traffic ahead, or you're driving more aggressively than we thought you were going to. And by having turn by turn navigation, it means we can take you to other charging points ahead of time so you don't run out of juice. And you can always see when you're gonna, your next charging point is gonna be or how long it's gonna take. By looking on the bottom left here, it's an hour and 27 minutes, 82 miles. You'll arrive there at 648, and this is your total trip here. Final thing, if you really wanna get down into the nuts and bolts of what your state of charge is gonna be while you're traveling, you can open up this tab here, which we call this button True Range. And when I open that up, you can see the state-by-state -state, uh, charge while you're doing these waypoints. So you can see at this turn, you'll be around 41%. And then as you start to get closer to your first stop and your charge, it'll be at a Dunkin' Donuts, and you'll be around 37% when you arrive to that location. So for us, we believe that this is the fastest way to help cure the range anxiety problem. And then with the wireless charging is how we overcome the user experience charging infrastructure problem. So this route planning will also eventually integrate all your wireless charging systems when you Already have those? Already does. Very Automatically, good. and we have over 100,000 public charge points already in our API and our software wow, for cool. all of North America. So you can use our app to plan travel from the United States to Canada or to Mexico, or even from Mexico to Canada. So you can do all those things. Well, this all looks really fascinating and interesting, but what's next for you guys? Well, we're gonna be coming out in 2023 with a commercial product that people can buy for aftermarket. So we'll be taking pre-order sales pretty soon. And also we'll be doing another crowdfund raise on WeFunder later on this month. So people, if they want to join us on this journey, can join us through that. Well, thank you so much, Jeremy, for spending the time to give us more information about Hevo and what you guys have been up to. And you guys, there's a lot more to talk about when it comes to e-mobility. We appreciate you watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, drive, fly, ride. Go electric.